Hello, Leo viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into your situation. Let's see what's going on. All right, for the Leos that are drawn to this video, what is the story regarding your love life? This could be an ex, present person, a new love. Just see how the cards play out. Just please be clear and direct. What is the story? What do we need to know? What do the viewers need to know about their love life right now? What is what's going on there? What is your person thinking, feeling, wanting? So what is going on with that connection? Page of Cups reversed, Hermit, High Priestess, the Magician, the Three of Swords. Not necessarily bad, let's just see how the cards play out. Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this is either you or them. I feel like somebody is trying to almost seduce and manipulate and control using magic or control using like it's like this seductive energy basically that they're trying to use to control you or you're trying to use to control them um i think there's probably two different groups here so it's either you or it's them here so it's like we have this mermaid you know page of cups upright would be like a love offer, but I also see it as somebody who's like seductive, charming, um, charismatic, but it's like they bat their eyelashes and just get their way, you know, but they don't necessarily, it's like on a deeper level, sometimes they don't, they could be, they could be a flirt too, but it's like on a deeper level, sometimes they don't actually acknowledge the issues. It's like they're just battling, batting their eyelashes and just trying to pull somebody in, but it's like, it's not working, you know, with the hermit, it's like this person is isolating. They're isolating from that energy. They're not doing it. So it could be, hmm. Cause so I'm looking at the high priestess and the, and the magician here too. And it's like this person is trying to be, it's very similar. I mean, usually I don't read it that way, but when I look at them with this, I kind of see a, sim a similar seductive energy. It's like this energy that just doesn't take things seriously. It's like this, it's like somebody is trying to manifest this person back with like magic or with, um, I mean, that's normal. We do that, you know, it's, it's normal to do reconciliation magic. But this person, if you're doing it on somebody, they might know that you're doing it. But it's like this person is like either you're in this energy where it's like you're trying to be seductive and you're trying to be cute and flirty. But it's like they want if they're going to do this relationship, they want to actually address the issues. They don't want to just cover up the issues and pretend like they're not there. They want you to actually work on yourself and acknowledge the things like the things that you've done wrong or the things that need to be need to change in the relationship they have this more serious energy and it's like you're trying to manifest them with magic or you're trying to like be in this flirty seductive powerful kind of energy but they're wanting you to go inward and actually like really get to the root of the problem with this relationship more and really work on yourself so it's like you guys aren't on the same page really because you're more in this like flirty, seductive, fun kind of energy and they're more in a serious energy. And it's like if you're trying to, they, if you're doing reconciliation spells, they might feel it. They might know. Someone might have told them about it, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Because um, it's like you have this heartbreak here. It's like you're trying and it's just like not working because you guys aren't on the same page. And you're just like, what do I do? Um, but I do feel like they do want the connection. They just want you to go about it a different way. For others, for others, this is their energy. So for some of you, they lost you um, and they're trying to manifest you back and they're trying to pull you back in, but they're doing it in a way that doesn't seem genuine. It's like they're trying to flirt or they're trying to bat, bat their eyelashes at you or they're trying to just like have control and power over you or they're trying to 
they're trying to use magic over you or they're just trying to be like seductive over you but they're like kind of just in this flirty fun energy and they're not actually acknowledging what they did wrong in the relationship and so you're just kind of waiting for them to give you something more real and more solid before you go forward because you're just like well this is what what is this like you know like you're just kind of waiting you're like I want something I want to know I'm not going to get hurt again and this energy you're presenting this this you know seductive type energy you're presenting is not letting me know that I'm not going to get hurt again it's making me think you're just playing around or you're just playing games or you've got other people on the side or um you just want the relationship when it's fun but when it comes down to actually doing the work you're you're just playing around you're not doing anything you know um and so this person is like doing that and they're trying to manifest you back and they're putting all this effort into like manifesting you through seduction and magic and all these other things. And they're not realizing that if they were to just like be genuine and have like a serious heart to heart talk with you, you would actually hear them out and you would work through this with them. Like they're not getting that. It's almost like they're, they're very guarded. They're very scared of getting hurt. So they're kind of, they have this facade going on right now where they're just in this seductive energy and they're not like, they're just not taking it seriously enough. So whatever the story is, whether it's you or them that's in that energy, somebody is in that energy. That's all I know. But it's not working. You guys aren't on the same page. And somebody, you guys are both probably heartbroken because you're not able to get on the same page that you want to be. It's like this person is like dancing around. Like they have a lot of energy, but they're like, you guys just aren't on the same page right now, but you're trying to be. You know, it's like this person is just like... You're just dancing around the issues, basically, you know? Uh, Six of Pentacles are versed in, in, and not willing to fully share their energy. It's like they've got this facade. Either you or them has this facade right now. It might even be that, like, you guys are just miscommunicating because we were just in Mercury Retrograde. And I know... So the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that this was probably, like, a new relationship or a new connection or... I mean, for some of you, this is like an ex or somebody, but for a lot of you, I do feel the energy that this is actually somebody that like you're with or you're working through things with. Um, it was that kind of energy or that you're at least in contact is the energy I felt from this. Although right now things might be a little silent. I'm not sure. It's kind of a, it's a little bit different of an energy than I got last time, but I was getting, okay. So the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting basically that, That they were proud of you for these life changes that you had been making, but they were like kind of guarded and they were observing you very closely and they were making sure that those life changes were actually going to stick. Like they were really proud of you. It's like you were doing something differently, like, you, you know, like a new job or like a new way of communicating or a new way of just being doing things like letting go of control issues there was just like this new energy and this new vibrancy and passion and light about you and they were really turned on by that and they were really proud of you and really really noticing all the life changes that you're making um but i almost wonder if there was like if something happened like an argument or miscommunication or maybe they're just not, I mean, we're still in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde, so we're still in this energy of miscommunication, because I almost wonder if they're actually being too dramatic about something, like, maybe you're just trying to enjoy your life and have fun and be flirty, um, and kind of take it easy, and it's like they're really serious about everything right now. I don't know. I'm trying to put my finger. I'm trying to put my finger on it. It's just this energy where it's like you guys aren't communicating well and it's like you're not on the same page. Like you're going you both have the same goal to make this relationship work and to communicate well and to be happy together. But it's like you guys just aren't they're like they're misinterpreting what you say and do or you're misinterpreting what they say and do or both. There's like a lot of misinterpretation going on here. I almost feel like they're a little controlling because I almost get the energy of somebody who's like, it's like you're free spirited and you're, f I don't know. It's, it's such a confusing energy. It's almost like maybe you're just trying to be free spirited and fun and flirty, but 
but they're like they're just seeing it like in this like that as you being this like seductress and it's like they're kind of they're kind of too stagnant and controlling right now it's like they're trying too hard to to control you right now i feel Ugh. let me pull, pull more cards here and see what's going on i'm gonna see what else else we can get here Okay, so what's the solution here? What is what's I mean, what else can you say about this relationship, the connection? What's the can you give us a solution? Like how do they what is going on here? <laughs> it's frustration on both ends. I don't ugh. I don't know about this. <laughs> you don't know about all this. Yeah, complicated fulfillment. Denial, the moon, loyalty, listening. Okay, this person wishes that you would listen to them more, or you wish they would listen to you more. I guess these two cards. Complication, yeah. Complication, again. <laughs> Complicated. Okay, so whether this is you or them. Ah, oh, it's confusing. It's a confusing reading. I can feel I can feel like the frustration on like both ends where I'm just like, oh my god, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Uh, I feel it though. I'm a fire sign. I know we can be stubborn. <laughs> um, so complication and denial over here, the, the first two cards, I think it's kind of saying like they want you not to be in denial about how complicated the connection is. They don't want you to just be in this flirty energy. They want you to really, somebody feels like they're not being heard. Like, they feel like they're not being understood and heard and their needs aren't being met. So, it's kind of like... I'm just looking at this. I'm like, this because it's such a confuse. There's so much confusion. It's like, you guys are... You, there's The love is there. There's just this miscommunication. But, yeah, I think, what, I think what they're saying the answer is, is like... If you're the one that's being kind of flirty and seductive and trying to live in the moment and they're trying to, like... I don't know, like acknowledge serious issues more. I think they're just saying like they don't want you to be in denial about how complicated the connection is. Like they want you to be forward and honest with them. Um, and it's saying like I think using your intuition is gonna what is what's gonna bring fulfillment is is being intuitive, being mindful. Like they really want you to listen to them. They want you to really understand them. They want you to listen to them and acknowledge their needs acknowledge the things that are hurting them acknowledge the issues from the past the things that they want to talk about um you know taking this more this is like more of like an a deeper like intuitive spiritual approach basically that they want you to take i think um, they don't want it to just be surface level because whatever your energy is so you might just be being flirty because you're like trying to be cute with them but they might be like seeing it as you avoiding serious issues and they might see it as like shallow and they might like it, it's leading to this sense of distrust where they're like, OK, is this person just flirting and playing around and having fun in the moment or do they really want to work on this connection? Do they really want to work on the relationship and talk about the serious issues and move forward with me or are they just playing around and flirting with everybody that comes along you know it's like this this distrust kind of energy um but it's saying like if you you know get out of denial and acknowledge the, the complications acknowledge what's hurting them acknowledge what they're feeling acknowledge what they want to talk about and talk to them about it and try to have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations and work through it together and, you know, get into this space where you're not, it's not just like surface level flirty energy. I mean, you can be that way sometimes, but it's like, it's in their eyes, it's the wrong time for that. They don't want that right now. They want something more serious and more solid um, from you. They want a more serious energy from you, I think. Um, I think it's all the context, like being flirty and sweet is good, but it has to be the right context. If they feel like you're doing, like you're being that way because you're trying to avoid the deeper issues and you're trying to avoid emotional availability and you're trying to avoid like these serious conversations, then it's like making them guarded and distrusting of you. So it's like be flirty and sweet, but in the right context. You know what I mean? Like, let them know that you're you're going to acknowledge what's hurting them. You're going to listen to them. You're going to make an effort to understand them. 
with the moon here, it's this, um, yeah, this spiritual deeper energy they want you to get into. They want you to use your intuition. They want you to be more mindful. They want you to be more aware of their body language, more aware of their triggers, more aware of just them as a person, of their feelings, more empathetic and more attentive to their feelings and needs. Um, and, and just more intuitive altogether. That's what leads to fulfillment. They want to know, they want reassurance that you're loyal to them, that they're the only one for you. They want reassurance that you're you're really in it. Um, I don't know why I heard in it to win it, <laughs> but they want that reassurance that you're really invested in this, that this isn't just a phase for you. I think they're having doubts that you're in this for the long term and they are in this for the long term. So they're getting kind of scared. So they want to know that you're really serious about them and that you're really loyal to them um, and that this is really important to you. And they're wishing that you would listen more. They're just wishing that you would just listen to them and understand them more and just make the effort and show them that you care. Um, is what they're is what I'm getting, and for for those of you that where it's the opposite, where it's like they're the one kind of just being flirty, and they're not really giving you a concrete idea if they're serious or not, and you are having a hard time reading them, you're having a hard time understanding them, and they're not acknowledging your needs and desires. I think you need to set boundaries with them. You know, because I do think that they, if they're the ones in that energy, that flirty energy, I do think that they do care, but I think that they have this facade. I think it's like a defense mechanism to protect themselves from getting hurt. I think they are scared of getting too attached to you again. I think they are attached, but I think they're scared of getting too deeply attached. There's still like this fear there. It's like they have this front that they put on with the world. Um, and so I think that you need to, to talk to them and set some boundaries and, you know, let them know, like, you do care, but they need to, they need to listen more. You need to set those boundaries with them more is what I get here. I get the energy of, like, jealousy, too. I don't know what that's about. I'll pull a few more cards just to clarify this whole thing. I think, I think that pretty, does that sum it up? I think so. Somebody just wants to be listened to and understood and they want the issues acknowledged. You know what I mean? So whether that's you that wants that, then you need to be, be, be honest that you want that and try to like set boundaries with this person, but also have a balance because you guys do have some personality differences where maybe they're like a little bit more free spirited and, and kind of outgoing. Um, or again, you know, this could be this could be them, but the seductive, whatever, whoever it is, the seductive energy is just the, that, I mean, that like easygoing energy is just not working in this context. Um, what else can we get here? Is there any other messages regarding this connection? New start. Yeah, this new start is probably going to require this fire energy, this, this like, it's like, it's passion, but it's like bravery it's it's this emotional depth. It's being willing to do the dirty work and not just you have to get past the surface level with each other. You know what I mean? You have to really be honest with your with each other. You need to have this honest heart to heart talk with if you want this new start. You guys need to have these honest heart to heart talks and set boundaries with, with each other because there is again somebody just they have you the whether it's you or them. There is just a lot of of issues and pain and just th just problems just 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 these things that need to be talked about and acknowledged and either they're on your end and you're going to end up exploding on this person because you're you feel like you're not being heard and listened to and understood or it's on their end and they're probably going to explode on you and they're just or they're just not, or they're just going to fade away and they're not going to trust you because they're going to feel like you're just being flirty and you're just in this seductive energy and you're like messing around with other people or you're doing whatever, you know what I mean? So, so the trust needs to be rebuilt. The honest heart to heart conversations need to happen and the boundaries need to happen. It's, it's important to do that now to save this connection. So that's what I got so far, or that's what I got for this, you know, currently. Um, if this resonates, please subscribe. And if you want an in-depth reading, you can email me. Thank you.